Okay, you guys, yes. I am a mother of seven kids. Seven kids. I had my first child at 14 years old. Yes, I had my first child at 14 years old. I do not regret it. He is well, healthy, and he's 19 right now. God, praise God. Yes, and I do receive 3K, 3,000 in EBT food stamps. Yes, we are happy where we're at in life right now. Like I said, it's going to be haters. You know, people going to be jealous and all that. Y'all can keep y'all little comments. But at the end of the day... My kids are taken care of. That all that matters, okay? That's it. That's all that matters. We ain't worried about y'all. Peace. So this woman recently went viral because she shared her story of how she has seven kids with seven different men and she's getting $3,000 in government assistance. Okay, y'all just mad because I get three can food stamps. So what? I get all kinds of snacks while I'm sitting here chilling or whatever, paying no bills. No bills, I'm on government assistance. My son back there with his snacks. Government assistance, three can food. Having seven kids with seven different men is not a flex. And if you need government assistance to take care of your kids, then you simply cannot afford children. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> that lady that is getting that food assistance and she got seven kids, seven different baby daddies, and she get, what is it, like 3K a month? Y'all, I can't even get food stamps if I tried. I would love to. I would love to like it, it, it like is she selling her food stamps like you know what I'm saying like I don't want to buy none but is she selling all like all, I know seven kids ain't eating three thousand dollars in food stamps are they because I haven't had food stamps okay but I won't sell but I you know what I mean but is she selling her food stamps <laughs> y'all I don't know if she is but um everybody mad at her everybody is mad at this woman for her boasting about getting 3k a month in food stamps and i mean people can do what they want they want to do what they want to do you know you know normal citizens i don't want to say normal citizens but citizens who do not get any assistance from the government our money goes towards that so i can see why people are upset i personally do not care because it's like okay obviously she need it because mentally she don't have the capacity to be a normal civilian person and just you know go about it a different way i don't know that could be just be me thinking right now but i don't think she should have put it on the internet i don't and i honestly think three thousand dollars a month that's a lot for seven kids what you think like do you think that's a lot i think that's a lot i knew somebody back in the day one of my mom's old friends she had 12 kids and she was getting like a thousand so i don't know y'all like it's it, i don't know I, I i can't even get food stamps i wish i wish i could get food stamps like, I need that money. Like, sometimes we don't be having the cash, and I be eating meager because I don't have it like that to be buying a whole bunch of groceries. You would think that after the first maybe two kids, she would have stopped. But no, she kept going. I saw a comment that says that people who are on government assistance for childcare should be on mandatory birth control. And I wouldn't go as far as to say that people should be on mandatory birth control because people's bodies respond differently to different medications. But some sort of advanced sexual education class should be mandatory. Basically, she's having kids for the government and taxpayers to take care of. Yeah, I'm on government assistance paying no bills, nothing bills. Who cares? I'm not going to raise seven kids by myself. They dead be dead. This ain't in their life. So the government is helping us, helping me raise these kids. Thank you. Many people are actually opting out of having children because of the cost of childcare, while others think that it's their sole duty to be fruitful and multiply on behalf of their child-free counterparts. Yeah, poor people shouldn't be having kids because it's a selfish thing to do to bring a child into poverty when poverty has been deemed a form of trauma. It's not classist. It's not even teetering on the line of eugenics. It's truly common sense and basic humanity. Why would you bring a child into poverty who's going to knowingly suffer because you don't have the access to all the resources needed to successfully raise them as a proper child? It is basic humanity and consideration to be so self-aware to know that if you cannot provide for yourself or the children you currently have, you should not be having more children. And you realize poverty is not an inherited genetic characteristic, right? 
so there's no way it's teetering on the line of eugenics. As someone who has worked in early childhood special education and general education in early childhood programs, elementary schools, and middle schools, I can confidently say it is such a tragedy to watch families continually have children who can't even provide for the ones they currently have. These families truly have no shame because they announce it like it's supposed to be this big celebration. I'm sorry, but in what world are we celebrating the tragedy of another child being born into poverty when these parents can't even provide for the children they currently have? And because they are having another child that they cannot provide for, all those children now are going to have more neglect because there's another child added that they have to be responsible for when they clearly can't even provide for the ones they already have. Like, am I speaking French to the Chinese army in Russia? Does no one understand what I'm saying? Like, be so for real. One of the main concerns that I have is the quality of life of these kids. And while $3,000 might be a lot of money, seven kids is also a lot of kids. Have you seen food prices lately? And then when you think about the added cost of like school, clothing, and essential items, these kids aren't living their best lives. There used to be a time when being on food stamps was embarrassing. She also has her kids all over social media, they're flaunting groceries, and she's pretty much exploiting those kids for views at this point. Based on the look on her TikTok page, I'm guessing that she has met the requirements to join the creator fund. I think she's just having kids for the money. But the way that she's displaying herself and her kids online are actually pretty embarrassing. All I see when I look at her is a broken little girl who never had the opportunity to heal because having a baby at 14 years old, like at 14 years old, you have no business being a parent. And then she just continued that cycle and had six more kids after that. And by seven different men, no doubt she was looking for love her whole life and has never found it. Sometimes when we're younger, we get into relationships thinking that the relationship is going to cure that longing that we have in ourselves for love. But I honestly think that the cure to that longing for love is actually loving yourself. And it might sound easy, and I know that it's pretty much an oversimplification, but if you can truly love yourself, then you won't be chasing relationships as a means of love. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.